Hi guys. So I've took some time off and uh, I'm feeling a little more rested, a little bit better about life, maybe. I don't know. And uh, I wanted to do this video on mayonnaise. Um, the ingredients, the one that I took, was best foods because I have used best foods my whole life um, and overall mayonnaise is not a terrible thing but somewhere along the line they have made it a terrible thing so one thing that I do not like about best foods is they use soybean oil and we've talked about soybean oil and a bunch of different ones. Matter of fact, I, I don't, I looked at several different ones, just kind of comparing uh, one to the other. And I couldn't find one that didn't have soybean oil. I don't know why they use soybean oil, but here's the deal. Soy is glyphosate. I mean, you may as well just be eating glyphosate <laughs> because... There's no soy that isn't sprayed with glyphosate. So you want to stay away from soy products completely, completely. Soybean oil leads to increased blood pressure, heart disease, diabetes, cancer, and other serious health issues. This isn't going to happen if you eat it one time. It's a process. It is... A bad food that you do not want to eat for a long period of time high consumption of soybean oil over a period of time will lead to disease water whole eggs egg yolks distilled vinegar salt sugar why are they putting sugar in mayonnaise sugar does not need to be in mayonnaise for any reason and it seems like everything that you buy in the stores nowadays is full of sugar or corn syrup uh, high fructose corn syrup any number of different types of sugar and it's not necessary if you make it at home you make it yourself there's no reason okay um lemon juice concentrate uh if you go and watch my video on soda pop soda pop is really bad and in that video i talk about lemon juice concentrates and the only one that is good for you um calcium diazodium which is known as EDT. EDT is used to protect the quality of the product. D EDT depletes vitamins and minerals, causes hypotension, headaches, migraines, abdominal discomfort, and the lowering of blood sugar. But I wouldn't go eating it just because your blood sugar is a little high. <laughs> More troubling is the long-term risks of toxicity and kidney damage. An additional concern is attributed to the unknown side effects of the possible buildup in the body over time. So it doesn't release EDT. Your body doesn't release it. It hangs on to it. It stays there. Um, let's see. As a whole... People are using more artificially preserved items now than ever before in history. The collective overuse of many toxic and carcinogenic chemicals created problem for researchers in ascertaining which destructive substance are responsible for long-term side effects. It also contains natural flavors. Now, Miracle Whip is almost the same thing, only 
it's even worse because it contains high fruct fructose corn syrup and modified cornstarch, natural flavors, which regular uh, Best Foods has natural flavors in it too. And natural flavors present a problem. I eat, go and watch my video on natural and artificial flavors and what the difference is between the two. And the only way you can find out what is going into your food is by, um, by going to or calling the company and asking them what natural flavors they're putting in there. And even that probably isn't going to be totally effective. Um, it also has potassium sorbate. So pretty much you don't want to um, be going to mayonnaise. Now, you can make mayonnaise your, yourself at home. But here's the deal. I have never been able to successfully make mayonnaise. It is on my bucket list of getting things done. <laughs> I really want to try and get things done and hang on two seconds. So, uh, one of these days I will accomplish mayonnaise, but I can't show you how to make mayonnaise because I'm terrible at it. And, that's okay. It's okay. I found this mayonnaise, which is very good. Very, very good. Okay, so here is, uh, it has no sugar. Um, it has avocado oil, which avocados are fabulous for you. Avocado oil is fabulous. Filtered water, egg yolks, organic whole eggs, organic distilled white vinegar, organic mustard, distilled organic vinegar, water, organic mustard seed, salt, organic spices, um, organic rosemary extract, and that's it. There's no EDT, ED, EDTA <laughs> in this stuff. It's called Chosen Foods, in case you can't read that, because I know it's backwards, because I'm a dork and I can't do it the other way. 100% um, avocado oil-based classic mayo. It tastes really good. Now, it's expensive. It was about double the cost of the regular mayonnaise. But you know what? I don't buy a lot of groceries, so... I'm okay with double the cost to not have to eat soybean oil or milk or um, what do you call it EDTA. I'm fine with that if that's what it takes for me to not have to consume toxic, poisonous crap. Then that's what it takes. The other thing that I can do is I can learn how to make mayonnaise. And many people make mayonnaise. I just have not been able to master it. I mess it up every time. And then I feel really bad because I've wasted the oil. I've wasted the eggs. I'm very frugal that way. I don't like wasting anything. So, yeah, if you can make it yourself then I would recommend it. Do it with avocado oil because it's such a healthy oil. Um, but you can do it with olive oil as well. I, I tried it with olive oil once and I noticed that the taste of the olive oil was very strong in the mayonnaise and I didn't really like that. So I would say if you can make your mayonnaise yourself. Oh, the other thing is shelf life. When you make your own mayonnaise, it's like you're constantly making it because it doesn't have a very long shelf life. Um, the preserved stuff lasts for freaking ever, which is part of the problem. You don't want your food to last longer than, uh, you don't. you just don't want it to last that long. But if you learn how to make it and you learn how to make it in small batches and 
you're not trying to keep it in the refrigerator all this time and then it's not that big of a deal but i'll tell you mayonnaise has been one of the biggest challenges that i have had in my entire learning process of learning how to make my own foods um i am getting ready to make some blue cheese dressing and i am going to do a video on blue cheese dressing because the blue cheese dressing that's in the stores is pretty much the same thing it's just crap and i want to show you guys how easy it is to make blue cheese dressing uh, actually you can make anything you can make those thousand island you can make ranch you can make blue cheese and i want you to have the best quality food for the least cost okay it's probably going to take you a little bit of effort to do it but you got to give somewhere and if it's cheap and you can do it yourself without all the preservatives then i say do it Anyway, thanks for listening to my rant. Uh, I will be doing a garden tour at some point. I have tons of gardening that I have to do probably this week uh, into the weekend, and then I'll probably do a video on gardening. And I'm sure I'll have 10 other things between now and then. Thanks for watching.